Hello everyone. Welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Tom Baker. Jaden Walbridge led the Race Face Drivers this week with a pair of victories, both in the Junior Late Model Division at the infamous Las Vegas Bullring over the weekend. The 14-year-old and his team were on top of the setup and executed flawlessly all weekend long. Jaden will try for three in a row on June the 15th right back at the bowl ring. Jesse Love had a roller coaster of a night in his second time behind the wheel of the Keith Koontz Motorsports Midget in Jacksonville, Illinois. The youngster had a nasty flip in practice that saw him come very close to putting it right out of the park. After being cleared by the track's medical team, his team pulled out the backup car and Jesse rewarded their faith with a third place run in his heat and an eighth to third place charge in the highly competitive feature. Jesse went for the win on a late race restart, lost a spot and finished fourth, but it was his first top five and only his second time in the car. Jesse will race at Madeira Speedway in California, one of his home tracks this weekend, with the SRL Southwest Tour Series, driving for Nate Clower Motorsports in the Super Late Model. Cassidy Hines was at I-76 Speedway for the Mile High Region 600 Micro Sprint event. Cassidy finished second in her heat race and started in fifth position for the feature. A scramble at the front of the field on the green flag caused everyone to make evasive moves and Cassidy fell back to 13th. Never one to give up easy, this young lady hit the gas, drove back through the field and earned herself a fine sixth place finish at the checkered. Sokol Motorsports also competed in that same I-76 Micro Sprint Regional. Colby Sokol finished third in his heat race and came from sixth to fourth in the main event and he ended up finishing in the fourth spot. He is now third in regional mile high points in the A class. Justice Sokol competed in the event as the only restricted 600 micro against the non-restricted cars and he ended up with a solid 10th place finish in his first ever 600 race. The next race for both Cassidy Hines and the Sokol boys will be June the 8th at the El Paso County Speedway. Sam Mayer was back in action with his GMS Racing Chevy in the NASCAR K&M Pro Series East race at Memphis International Raceway in Tennessee over the weekend. Mayer was leading the event and in position to win when contact on a restart with 50 laps left sent him up the track, shuffling him back to an eventual fourth place finish. His next race will be at the Madison International Speedway on June the 14th. Joe Valento jumped back in his Legends car at the Elko Speedway in Minnesota. Joe qualified 12th, finished 12th and 15th in the two features after mechanical issues had plagued them throughout the evening. Joe will be back at Elko this weekend to try again. That's about it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. Have you missed any of our previous episodes? No worries, you can catch up by going to raceface.tv on demand. As always, we encourage you to get out and support local racing in your community. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race car drivers. Make it a safe and successful racing weekend, everybody. I'm Tom Baker. Thanks for watching.